morning everyone welcome back to my allotment diaries my name is emma these are my allotment diaries and as always i would love for you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are loving my allotment journey my allotment videos um so go and click the subscribe now because every single subscriber makes such a difference to this channel it's just so lovely to see my numbers going up and i know that you guys are really enjoying the content that i'm putting out so i'd love for you to hit subscribe if you haven't already and come and follow me on instagram as well because i am about to hit a hundred thousand subscribers over there which is unbelievable thank you thank you thank you so much right all that drivel out of the way let's get on with it so here we are at the allotment plot today um the weather is supposed to be really nice today like 19 20 degrees which is like crazy um i think it must be the hottest day of the year if it gets to those temperatures it's the hottest day of the year and that's it so I thought what a perfect day to come down and just check on everything. Um, I didn't really bring anything with me today because I literally just rocked up here to um, have a look around and, and see if there are any jobs that need doing. I like to keep on top of things at this time of year and uh, a good way of doing that is just to come down. It's just to show up, it's just to turn up. Um, you don't always have to have a big plan and you don't always have to have specific jobs to do at your allotment plot I think the best thing that you can do to keep on top of it is just to show up turn up and you'll see things that need doing you'll you'll get a few little jobs done and it really does add up you know otherwise it can really get on top of you at this time of year and I know a lot of people really struggle with that with their allotment plots so if you are someone who's really struggling at the moment to like keep on top of weeds or just keep up with your allotment plot I would say just get down there as many times as you can even if that's just like 10 minutes a day or five minutes in the morning or half an hour in the evening like just try and get down there as much as you can and just do little things because it all adds up um we're gonna play is it alive or has it died uh, this morning because we planted a few new things out and I haven't inspected them all so I think we're just gonna go around and do a bit of a may plot tour for you so let's start with that oh nice birdie how lovely. So I have been busy planting new things in my allotment plot and then sort of forgetting about them because that's what I do best, plant and forget. Um, I think down here we've got some carrots, parsnips and I put some beetroot in so let's have a look if any of that is growing. Parsnips are doing really really well. Really really happy with those rows of parsnip. I think they're going to be fantastic. I do have some carrots coming up, some carrots are getting bigger and then I've sown some more and I can see that a lot of those are coming up as well, that's really good. And then over here, I planted in some beetroot. I can't see any of it coming up, but I have no idea what it might look like. There's only like six seeds. Um, that over there is my rhubarb, first ever rhubarb. And then here, I've got the garlic, and it's starting to go yellow, which I think means it's almost done, which is very exciting. Uh, hello. Hello, Rocky. <coughs> you rocked up today, have you? Hey, do you want some treats? Get some, you do, you want some cat treats? Oh, oh look, oh look at this, straight in the bed. Rocky, come on, out, out Rocky. Rocky, move. You're standing on my carrots. Come on, off, off, off of that. No, come here, come here Rocky, Rocky. No one wants to see your butt, Rocky. Stand the other way. Rocky, get down. I'm scared you sometimes. I like you, Rocky, but no, 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 no. You can't have the whole thing, Rocky. There you are, there, there, you're standing on it. You're standing on him. Rocky, here, here. Yes, oh gosh. Oh, such a good boy. As always, just to sum that up, Rocky is not my cat. I do not know what his name is. I do not know if it's a girl or a boy. I do not know where he comes from. I do not know if he has an owner. All I know is that every time I'm here, he turns up. So now I've just started feeding him because why not? Right, oh god, now he's in my shed. Can you get the spiders? If you're in there, make yourself useful, mate. Get the spiders for me. That's it. I've got to film this now, Rocky, so would you mind? <laughs> right, so, I think the garlic is on the way to being done. Um, I planted this out, I think, in the... Oh, oh Rocky, are you licking my bum? Oi, no one can do that except my husband. <laughs> Oi, get down, get down. So I think that's almost done. Next to that we have got shallots. And again, these are starting to go a little bit yellowy, but I don't know if they'll be done anytime soon. <laughs> you can get involved. This is impossible, Rocky. So, excuse me. Moving on. Here, I think what I did was I put in some lettuce seeds, didn't I? Right, can you not stand on them? I put in some uh, lettuce seeds here and uh, yes, they are starting to germinate. So I think now what I'm worried about with these is the slugs and snails getting them. 
Right, Rocky's standing on them now, literally standing on them. Can you come off of there, Rocky? Would you mind? Can, Rocky, come over here. Come over here. Right, stay there. So, yes, as you can see, uh, my row of lettuce, this is impossible. This is absolutely impossible. Huh? You're so annoying. Here is the lettuce seedlings all coming up, don't lick my bum, um, all coming up along here, some rocky paw prints now. Oh, Rocky! <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely impossible. What are you Stop it. Hey. <laughs> Why is this happening? <laughs> right, have you got anything to do today? Hey, have you got anything to do today? Have you got anything to do? Right, come on, off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Good boy. Right, can you leave? <laughs> So, lettuce is alive, that's alive, that's fine. Over here we've got the broad beans, um, doing really well actually, except that most of them are now dead. So other than that, they're okay. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So some of them are starting to get their flowers, but you can see they've been quite munched. Munched and munched and munched. So yeah, everything is just literally being eaten to death. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about that because otherwise they can cope with a little bit of slug, slug and snail damage but as you can see it is getting quite ridiculous now um, and some of them aren't looking quite so healthy so what I'm gonna do is more slug and snail protection today here we've got the potatoes these are my earlies coming up they look absolutely fantastic no problems with them whatsoever they just look great so so healthy not even a speck on their leaves not even a speck like with a speck of anything, fantastic. Down here, I planted out my courgettes. I'm a little bit concerned about these, so let's have a look. This is the one that I'm worried, no, 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 no. This is the one that I'm worried about. You can help, but you can't eat it when I lift this up. Okay, I'll be very cross. Right, as you can see, you know what's happened? You know what's happened with this, don't you, Rox? Yeah, it's, I basically, I put it in the dome thing and when the sun's come through it scorched it and it's made it really hot and dehydrated it. Now luckily for me the leaves in the middle are okay, so I think what we're going to do is leave that dome thing off. Um, and the same with this one here. I guess, and mind you there's a bird poo on the top of that, which means the birds have tried to get to it, so I'm going to have to net it or something. Yeah, same with this one, you can see the leaves are just a little bit and then the ones in the middle are okay. Though if the ones in the middle are okay, maybe maybe it is okay to leave them on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know now. What do you think? If the ones in the middle are okay, maybe it's just the ones around the edge dying. It's so hard sometimes to know what the right thing to do is and the reason for that. I mean, I think I might just leave it off and just hope that the birds don't get them. Maybe get my scarecrow out or something. Yeah, I think I might do that because otherwise I just think they're going to die. So... Yeah, I think we'll leave those. And then over here I planted out the pumpkins. Have they done the same thing? No, they're a little bit floppy. Let me reach under. So these are my giant pumpkins. No, I think they're okay. That's bird poo. Yeah, they have, birds have tried. The birds have tried. They probably sat on that. And that one looks a bit floppy as well, but I think he's all right. The birds have definitely had a go at those, but luckily they look all right. Okay, and then over here I planted in runner beans, didn't I? We've got runner beans along the front of this. I don't think any of these have sprung up yet. No, I don't think so, not yet. In here, I can see the dahlias are starting to grow. So I've got my dahlias in the domes um, and they are starting to grow. So if I stick the camera in there, yeah, there's a little bit of growth just over there. You can just see that growth. And then these are all of my, what are they called again? Uh, cornflowers. They're all coming up really beautifully. Fantastic. We've still got these alive. I did tie these in the other day. To tie them in again. So these are my sweet peas. These are doing really, really well. And then they're doing quite well in this end as well. Hopefully they'll go up over the archway a little bit. Fantastic. They look great. And then we've got the raspberries growing as well. Sticks, as I like to call them, living sticks. They're all growing. So all in all, everything seems to be growing okay. Um, hopefully those courgettes survive, I think what I'm going to do is net them instead.
So I've just given the broad beans a bit of a tomato feed. So tomato um, feed is really good for anything that you want leafy growth from because it contains all three of the things that plants need. Um, I think it's nitrogen, potassium and... I want to say propane, but I don't think it's propane. I think that's petrol. I don't think it's petrol. Um, potassium, nitrogen and propane. Why have I got propane in my head? Oh God, what is it? It can't be that because that's petrol. Don't put that on your plants. It'll probably explode or something. It can't be that. Absolutely cannot be propane. Phosphorus, that's the one. Can't be that, they'd explode. Um, yeah, so it's got all three in, so it's like using a shampoo and conditioner in one. It's just a three in one, all does everything. So I've given them that. The reason I've done that is because they've been eaten so badly, I kind of want to give them a little bit of a helping hand. And some of them down here, the leaves are going a little bit yellow, which could mean they're underwater, could mean they're overwater, could mean that they are stressed, could also mean that they are too hot, could mean that they're too cold. I mean, there's so many things that it could mean. Best just to whack on a tomato feed and just hope for the best. There's just too many things it could be. Now the next thing I'm going to do is against slugs and snails and it is a trusty garlic spray. So this is just a bottle of water, I mean a spray can of water, spray can, spray bottle of water um, that's had some garlic put in it and it smells of garlic, it's just garlic water. Um, so if you want to ward off vampires or slugs and snails this is a great thing to use. So we won't be getting either of those at this plot and I'm just going to spray everything with it. The thing is, is garlic is so good for you. Why do slugs and snails don't like a good garlic seasoning? I'll never know, but they don't. So that's what we're going to give them. I'm going to put it all on the bed as well. Everything's going to smell of garlic. Everything. Even my hands. <laughs> everywhere except on the bed. I really hope that garlic spray works because that's such an easy thing for me just to spray on everything and it's not going to harm any of the crops as well. I guess the only thing is when it rains it's going to be washed away isn't it? So you have to just keep putting it on like over and over again which is fine I don't mind doing that and maybe I'll get a better spray bottle for it but yeah if that works that's genius that is it'd be quite a good idea to grow some random garlic around the place that would work wouldn't it if I just randomly put in some cloves of garlic everywhere and grow some garlic that might work as well against them so that'd be really good um yeah okay right good so that's protected from the slugs and snails that's done <laughs> on the gloves that I use because I absolutely love these. These are the Think Green gloves um, and I've got them linked below. I've now got a discount code for them as well which is Emma Glove. Put it on the screen now and it's also below um, and you can click through to the link to buy them from Amazon. They're really really good. The thing that I love the most about them is not only that they're really comfortable um, and they're just fantastic all-round gardening gloves um, but they're also made from recycled plastic bottles so they're really really eco-friendly. I just absolutely love them. I've worked with them for a very long time they send me all my lovely gloves definitely definitely recommend them and I've now got a discount code like I said so you can get your hands on some of these lovely gloves um, for your hands <laughs> get your hands on them for your hands and get some money off as well so that's excellent so thank you to Think Green for working with me for so long and for giving all my viewers a lovely discount code go and check them out right we're going to do the pond now So on the surface of my pond, you might be able to notice this green snot-like stuff. So if I do that, look at that. Isn't that gross? This is pondweed. This is not what you want in your pond. This is gonna cover and smother your pond. It's absolutely disgusting. It actually grows when there is too much nitrogen in the water, which is not a good combination. It doesn't want too much nitrogen. And the reason there's nitrogen is because nitrogen is in leaves and uh, I've got a tree just above my pond, so don't build a pond under a tree, um, but I did, and here it is. 
now I have to deal with the consequences. I don't know if that's the only reason there's too much nitrogen, but I know that that is a big reason and it's under a tree. So I'm assuming the leaves falling into the water all the time is basically causing too much nitrogen, which is causing pondweed to grow. Also, it can't get enough sunlight and sunlight kills the pondweed not enough sunlight is getting to this pond so i'm just gonna have to deal with the consequences of that by pulling out all of the pond weed um, and if you've got any other methods you know to keep pond weed away because i can't change the fact that it's under a tree and i can't change the amount of light that the pond gets but i think there are a few other sneaky methods to kind of get rid of the pond weed so if you know any of them let me know for now we're gonna have to literally pick it out lovely Oh no, it's so gross! Oh my god. Oh, it's like snot. I don't know why they call it pondweed, they should call it pond snot. Notice that as I'm taking it out I'm putting it on the side of my pond just here and that's because any creatures that are in there can then get back into the water and don't die so I'm going to leave it all around the edges of my pond and then probably tomorrow or the next day I'll come and I'll just compost it um, but for now it's going to stay there goodness this is insane so my poly tunnel is going to be cleared in about three weeks time I'm going to clear most of this in here because my tomatoes are going to go out here and my second cucumbers um, because the first lot died how beautiful is it right now I mean I'm slightly gutted that I have to get rid of all this I am just surrounded by flowers the most beautiful flowers flowers that I've never seen before because these are radishes that have gone to, to flower they bolted they're absolutely beautiful. I, I just love them. I would grow radishes in a border for flowers now. So apparently, um, if you miss your rabbit radish and it goes over and you don't eat the actual radish on, on like under the ground, um, then you can let it go to flower and then you can eat the flower seeds or the flower heads or something. I don't know what they are. Um, I thought it'd be quite obvious. Just looking at it, I can't see any bit of it that's very obvious that I could eat. So like these are the flowers, these are flower buds at the top and then where's the bit that I eat then? Do I have to wait for the flowers to finish? I don't, I'm not sure. So something to do with the flowers that you can eat but I'm just, I can't find it and I'm not, nothing is shouting out to me, eat me, eat me. Do you know what I mean? I, I expect you probably can eat the flowers and stuff but I don't really want to. This guy is now crushing a, I think a, cauliflower in front so I'm gonna have to move you mate oh I'm so sorry I'm probably gonna kill you now oh I've killed him that's all it takes that's all it takes to kill him <laughs> right I've got to let him live because he's actually growing into something I don't know what he is he might be a cauliflower um, but unfortunately mate you've got to go the garlic is looking insane we have got some bindweed wrapping itself around don't really want that do we oh, I hate bindweed radishes down here are looking really good and we've got a little kale here he's looking absolutely fantastic through the jungle of radishes i've got my kohlrabi he's looking really great it's really nice i've got another one over here <gasps> he's looking even bigger gosh he's beating you come on be careful mate because you're gonna lose and then they're dead in there they're dead they're dead um and then this is all more radishes again these are spiky these ones don't like these ones these are quite spiky look at that still absolutely surrounded by snails in here but really big ones now not little babies anymore like really big ones like this guy here not sure where you think you're going mate but you ain't getting any of my vegetables today come on oh god they're so gross I just don't like them 
Right, so shortly this will be cleared and it will no longer look like a jungle. It will have tomatoes in, which is very exciting. You know, in the excitement of growing everything else at my allotment plot, I've actually forgotten that I'm growing strawberries because I moved them from the raised bed into this pallet planter, which you're currently sitting on, and they're doing really, really well. I was slightly worried that I'd killed all of these when I moved them, but look, they're all getting lovely little flowers, and I put some strolch down in here to try and stop the slugs and snails, but I really think they're going to be okay up here. I just have a good feeling about them. And yeah, they're all growing and doing really well. Yeah, I feel really good that I moved all of my strawberries into a pallet planter because I just feel like they're going to be happier, like up high, away from the ground, um, away from all the slugs getting them. So fingers crossed I get some strawberries soon um, because it's May. I'm pretty sure I got strawberries in April last year, so I don't know what, what's going on with them. <laughs> I do hope that you enjoy visiting me on my allotment plot today. If you did, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will be back again next week with three vlogs, Monday, Wednesday and Friday as always. I hope you all have a lovely coronation weekend, whatever you're doing to celebrate, just eating trifle, having a party, having a street party, whatever it is you're doing. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you again on Monday. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.